sometimes you want to know if one object can see another object, such as one character looking in the direction of another character. Like if you're playing Metal Gear Solid, if the enemy sees you, you're dead. So if I have a character, I want to be able to know if a, another character is behind a wall or not. So if there's no wall, I want him to be able to detect that he has saw this other character. And you can create a ray from his direction in a straight line until it hits another geometry. So in this case, you want to be able to detect he can see this man. But if there's a wall in the way, for instance, then using the rays that we learned earlier, we can check the closest collision and we can find out that there is a wall in the way so we we emulate that we are not seeing this other person. I'll show you how to do that in Jamie now. Okay, I'm going to create a new file, Control N, use the test template. I'm going to call this line of sight. I'm going to create two spatials. S1. S2. I'm going to. Oof, sorry, it's, I just needed to scratch my back. Asset Manager. Load model. Let's uh, use Sinbad again. Everyone loves Sinbad. Who doesn't love Sinbad? Um, go back here. Control Shift down to duplicate that. Because I'm lazy and I just have to type S2. And we need to attach these both to the root node. Yeah, control shift down, like that. Don't forget we need to add our light. Our sunlight here. Control F, control shift I. Fix the imports. And I'm just going to get those. Normalize this local. Doesn't really matter, but I like to do it. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to move our Sinbad. It's a local translation. We're moving 10 units to the right. Shift F6 to see if this has worked. Awesome. I think I'm going to make them a bit smaller then. So we can scale, make them a bit smaller. So we can scale. 0.5 along each axis. Let's have a look at that. Okay, it's a bit too far away from me for my liking. Let's try 5. Shift F6. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now I'm going to create a ray, which is going to point from this control shift. I to fix the import, natural space, the origin and the direction. So I'm going to take the first Sinbad, I'm going to get its local translation, so that'll be the point of the beginning of the array. And then the direction is going to be I'm going to get the local not local scale, the local rotation. Get local rotation. This one. I'm going to get Rotation column 2, and that is the direction in which he faces. So then I'm going to create a line using this ray. I'm going to make it 10 units long, and then I'm going to detect if that line. I'm not, I'm not going to detect if the line is going to intersect with the second Sinbad. So that's just it's just a visual demonstration. I'm going to check if the ray is 10 units away from the sin the second Sinbad and also facing him. Hopefully that made sense. So I'm just going to create a geometry for the line first of all. New geometry. I need to create a new line. Control Shift I. I don't want math line, I want scene shape line. Control space. So it does start and an end. So I'm going to start it at 
no, I want to use the ray. Just I want to use the ray get origin. I'm going to use ray dot get direction. And I'm going to multiply this by 10. Scale of 10. So as the direction is already a unit vector, that means it's going to multiply it by 10 times. So that its length is 10 units. And I shall set the material of this to be our default material. But I'm also going to change the color. No, I can leave it as white actually. Let's attach this to the root node. Uh, so that's going to attach the line in the direction that the spatial is facing. Oh, let's shift F6 to see this. Why did I do it in simple updates? Makes no sense. But okay. And uh, watch as my frames this per second goes down very fast. Okay, so as you can see, that's the direction he's facing. Going to get rid of that. Why on earth did I do this? What am I even thinking? Oh wait, no, actually I do need to do this. But I don't need to keep the line the whole time. So what I'm going to do is each time the simple update runs, I'm going to detach child named line. And then I'm going to create a new line which faces the direction he's looking. That will do, and that way I only have one line each time. Okay, and now I'm going to have Sinbad rotate. So this one dot rotate. I need him to rotate along the y axis. Yeah. Shift F6, and the line should rotate with him. Yes, awesome. And whoa, what happens there? Okay, no, it just looks like it's fast, but okay, <laughs> forget me, I'm seeing things. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to create a collision results object. Let's get results. Ah. New collision results. Control shift die. I'm going to check if the second Sinbad collides with the array. Dot collide with array. Store it in the collision results object. I'm going to check if the collision results dot size is greater than zero. So that means the ray collided with something. But as you remember, rays point to infinity. So I'm going to check if it is 10 units if the ray is 10 units long when it collides with the second ogre. So if the size is greater than zero, I'm going to store the collision result, the closest collision result to be more precise. Result, no, collision result. Do you die? Collision results, that's the closest collision. Control shift die. And then if this distance is less than 10, that means the second ogre is 10 units away from the first ogre. Because you don't want to be detecting a ray collision if he's like 4 miles away. You're not going to be able to see that. But the ray will still detect it. If, well, if that's what you want, then you can have that. But sure, I'm only going to detect if he's 10 meters away. Ah, oh, shouldn't be hard coding it, but never mind. And then I'm going to make the second ogre. I'm going to turn him pink. So, I need to convert it to a geometry. But well, hopefully I can do this. I haven't tried. Uh, get material, set color. This will turn in pink. He has been spotted. This one must be pink. 
Right, let's just clean this up. Who really likes it all clean and tidy? I have no idea if this is going to work. Come on. Oh, yes. As predicted, node cannot be cast to a geometry. So I'm just going to assume that there's only one child in the node. So I don't believe there should be any others. So I'm going to control shift I. I don't want that one. I want the same node. I'm going to get child zero. Convert that to a geometry. Right, let's try that. What's happening now? Material to parameter is not defined for color. Okay, that's because it's an unshaded. So colors for unshaded. So do I need to diffuse color? Oof, I haven't done this in a while. Diffuse color. Diffuse. Diffuse? I don't know. I do not know. I'm just taking it out my ass. Okay, that didn't crash, but it didn't do anything either. Oh wait, it's t did it turned his eyes. Did it turned his eyes pink. Ah. So there is a few children. Let's try this one. Oh yes. So as you can see, I'm not a complete retard. Come on, yes, yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think I need to do anything else. I will get rid of the line just to prove that that is not in fact doing anything. Well, let's make this more dramatic. It's going to be the final thing I ever do, so going to s2.setMaterial let's create a new material definition up here material image is a new material common map def I'm just going to use unshaded again can't go wrong with unshaded m.set color color RGB dot pink piece of shit. Let's do that set material pen. Uh, it's already fine, but I'll just call it M1 to, to be safe. Yeah. Come on, be pink, be as pink as you can. Yes! Yes, yes, you piece of shit. You're pink now, you piece of piece of shit. And that is the final tutorial. I'm hungry. I'm going to get some food.